Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 18 E notes on the normal distribution. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit different look. We're going to do a uh, PowerPoint. So um, anyway, the uh, target for this one here is uh, you should be able to say that I can use the normal distribution to solve real world problems. All right. So um, first off, what is a normal distribution? Okay. So we got to see, we got to figure out what a normal curve is. Okay, so it's simply just a curve that's in the shape of a bell. It's called the bell curve. All right. Um, a normal distribution is essentially just a mound-shaped distribution. Okay, so like all this, the a lot of the data is clumped in the middle, and less data um, is clumped on the like outside, away from the uh, away from the middle or the median. Okay. So uh, a normal distribution, if something is truly has a normal distribution, has about 68% of the data is within one standard deviation of the mean. And I'll show you a little bit more what that means here with a uh, picture. 95% um, of the data is uh, within two standard deviations of the mean. And then 99.7% of the data is within three standard deviations of the mean. Okay. So this is also referred to as the 68, 95, 99, 7 rule. Okay, um, let's take a look at this um, on a picture. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, the, uh, remember the, the O with a little cape on it, that's our standard deviation, and then the X with the bar over the top, that's our mean. Okay, so if this right here is our mean, and then this right here is a standard deviation so this is the mean plus a standard deviation and this is the mean minus a standard deviation okay so within one standard deviation plus or minus from the mean there should be 68 percent of the data one two standard deviations above and below is 95 percent of the data and then one two three and one two three standard deviations above and below the um, median should be 99.7% of the data if the data is distributed normally. All right. Okay. Another way to look at that, if you split it up instead of the 68, you got 34 in each of these sections, um, 13 and a half in each of these, like in the second uh, standard deviation away, and then 2.35 is in the third standard, de standard deviation out. Okay. So again, that's the um, 68, 95, 99, 7 rule. All right. So, with that, let's take a look at some examples. The 1999 to 2000 salaries of the 43 state lieutenant governors in the United States have a normal distribution with um, the mean being 68,157 and then the standard deviation being 26 thousand eight hundred and forty four dollars so within what range do about ninety five percent of the lieutenant governor's salaries fall okay so um, ninety five percent is two standard standard deviations from the mean so what we need to do is we need to start with our mean and we need to add two standard deviations to the mean and they also we also need to subtract two standard deviations from the mean to find our range okay so again here's our mean sixty eight 157 subtract uh, sorry add a standard deviation and then add another standard deviation so there's two standard deviations and that's our top value okay and then we take our mean and we subtract a standard deviation subtract a second standard deviation and then that's going to be our lowest our lower range so that means that the range where 95% of the lieutenant governor's salaries fall between 121 845 to 14,469. All right, normal distribution. All right, um, same question here, or same information, and this is about what percent of the lieutenant governors have an annual salary be between 14,469 and $95,001. All right, so what we want to do 14,469 and 95,001. So look, here is the mean and plus one standard deviation was ninety five oh ninety five thousand one dollar and then two standard deviations below is the fourteen four sixty nine okay so fourteen four sixty nine two standard deviations below and ninety five 
$1,001 was one standard deviation above the mean. Okay, so that's these two pieces here. Um, so really, it's from here to here. So this is our range. So all we have to do is just add these three numbers up here. Okay, the 13.5, the 34, and the 34. 13.5 plus 34 plus 34 gives us 81.5%. So that means 85, about 81.5% of lieutenant governors have an annual salary between 14,469 and 95,001. All right. Okay. Now let's take a look at um, something a little different. Okay. Um, the weights of pairs are normally distributed distributed with a mean of 110 grams and a standard deviation of 8 grams. Okay, Find the percentage of pairs that weigh between 100 grams and 130 grams. Okay, Now if you'll notice 110 grams, if you subtract 8 grams that gets you down to 102. So this, is, this doesn't fit nicely um, in our um, 68, 95, 99, 7 rule. Okay, so we're going to have to use our graphic graphing calculator to try to figure this out. Okay, so what we, what we got here is, here's a little sketch of the diagram. Okay, ignore this. This is the answer down here that we're going to get to, but this is the diagram. So here's 100 and here's 130. So we want to figure out um, what percent of the data is this blue shaded piece is. Okay, so... Um, so the mean again is 110 right here standard deviation is 8 um, and then we want to figure out the weights between 100 and 130 so the lower bound is 100 and the upper bound is 130 now what you want to do it says from GDC graphics design calculator or no graphics display calculator we want to enter this in okay this norm CDF so here's how you get to that and this only works on an 83 or above. It doesn't work on the 82s. So you're going to have to find um, a calculator that's going to work for this. All right. So what you want to do is we're going to press second variables. And then we're going to, I don't even know what this distra is. And then we're going to scroll down to number two, which is the normal CDF. Okay. So let me pull up our graphing calculator. It should be on here somewhere. There it is. Sorry about all that flashing there. All right, so here's what we've got to do. We turn this thing on, and then we do second variables. So here's variables, so we do second variables, and then it's already, oh, that's what the distra means. It's, it's under the distribution here. So we want to go down to the normal CDF. So just go down to that, we push enter, and then let's see this one. This looks a little bit different actually than the 83, but we'll we'll work with this here. And this lower is negative one e to the 99. That's basically zero, is what that's trying to get to. I don't know why they do that, so I'm just going to put zero in there. The you can actually leave it; it won't make any difference. Um, actually, wait. No, we want our lower bound. We want to know between 100 and 130. So let's change that to 100. And then the upper is 130. Our standard deviation is 110. And sorry, the mean is 110, and then the standard deviation is 8. All right, we should be able to hit. There we go. That's what we wanted it to look like. We press enter, and it gives us 0.88. Eight, which means 88.8% of the data right here, 88.8% .8 of the pairs weigh between 100 and 130 grams. Okay. Um, and now again, it does look a little bit different on the 83. You just push this here. Once you get to this normal CDF, instead of entering, instead of getting this other screen, you'll, you'll get this screen right here and you'll get the parentheses and you just do 100 comma 130 um, comma let's see and then I believe we do pretty sure it's the 110 comma and then 8 and then close your parentheses and push enter and you'll get your 88.8 percent .8%. okay all right
right, um, that takes us to about 10 minutes. So um, I'm going to stop this and we're going to hit the last, the B and the C parts on the second video. All right.